Hello viewers and welcome back to our YouTube channel where we constantly update you for your dream job. In today's video, we will be discussing in detail about the TCS NQT and Ninja expected cutoff. But before we start today's video, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the notification for all of our latest videos. Also, before we start, let me tell you that Cantilever Labs is now offering a free course with which you can prepare for aptitude, coding, mock interviews and test series for free and crack top companies is hiring exams like TCS Ninja, TCS NQT, Pipro, Capgemini, Cognizant and many more. You can find the link to this course in the description box below. So now let's get started with today's video. Alright, so guys, now on the main portal, once you log in with your credentials, um, if you've given the test here, you will get an option. The same place where you can see apply now is the same place where you get an option to access your scorecard. So if you've given the test already, then you can log in and you can check in your scorecard. And guys, an important detail here is once you go to FAQs, you can clearly see that um, they don't really uh, release a cutoff as such. And there are a lot of factors that they consider when um, giving you the interview call. So as you can see, there is no cutoff score or pass or fail criteria to set your performance of the test. You will be given a scorecard that indicates your current ability in the topics that you were assessed. So TCS, and TCS um, generally doesn't release a cutoff as such. But on the basis of their past year trends and on the basis of the kind of students who received the interview calls last year and this year, we've come up with an estimate of what the cutoff could ideally be. So we've seen um, past year trends and essentially the students who actually got an interview call after writing the test and they're on the basis of their percentages, what the ideal uh, expected cutoff could be. And if you receive a certain score, then is there a chance for you to uh, either receive an interview call or not to receive an interview call? So now let's discuss what the cutoff individually for both um, your cognitive and your subject NQT would be. Okay, so guys, now talking about each of your scores in detail, um, let's start with the cognitive skill score. Um, so this would be your sub, uh, NQT score. So here, as you can see, the total is for 1,800 marks. And if you can score for anything about 75 to 80 percent, then you'll be in a safer zone to get an interview call. And even if you don't get that high scores in your um, subject NQT, which is the IT programming part, then you can make up for it. So, for example, if you have a 75 percent to 80 percent in your um, NQT score, then you will get an interview call even if you have a 10 to 15 percent in your programming part. And um, speaking about the programming part in general, so as you can see, um, our, the total marks would be for 60. And in this particular scorecard, the person has received 10 marks. And uh, another similar scorecard for the subject NQT is of this, where they've received 24 marks out of 60. So here they've re received a 40 percent score. So you can see the difference between a 10% and a 40% score. So just to understand this better, if you talk about a separate minimum cutoff for cognitive, then you should aim for a 65% to 75%, 70% above. And for an individual programming score part, then you should try to have at least 15 to 20% to be on the safer zone. So guys, remember that there is no sectional cutoff as such. And um, they look at your entire score um, and your resume as well apart from um, just taking the look at your individual scores. So you need to get a good score in both of the sections in order to actually get an interview call. So um, in the past year trends as well, we've seen some students receiving um, an interview call after having scored more than 75% 70 marks in programming. Okay, so guys, now um, an important thing to note here is that there is no sectional cutoff as such, but it's important to score good marks in both of the sections, your NQT score and your subject NQT score as well. So in the past as well, we've seen students scoring really high in the subject NQT and getting roughly a 60 to 75, 70% there, but still not getting the interview call because their cognitive part was quite low and it was below 60%. So it's important that your score in your cognitive part should at least be above 65 to 70%. And in your subject NQT, you should aim at getting a 15% above to um, have a cumulative good score in order to get an interview call. And this trend has been going on for the past um, year or so where we can expect the cutoffs to be around this range that I just mentioned. And if we get enough likes and comments and shares for this video, then we will make a separate video on how to crack the interview, uh, particularly the interview part. So just comment below on if you want us to make a separate video on that and do like and subscribe to this video. OK, so guys, now that was all for today's video. And we will be coming up with more such content soon to help you prepare for all the upcoming drives. We hope that you liked this video and it was useful for you. And if it was, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kindly let us know through the comment section below as to what topics you want us to make our next videos on. And we will be happy to do so. Till then, start preparing because Cantilever Labs is passionate about building a platform for you to get into your dream jobs. Also, do not forget to check out our Instagram and Discord channels as we keep updating them with um, latest information for all the upcoming drives. Until then, thank you for watching.